Hi guys, so I'm doing a quick tutorial on a new tool that I've come across. It's not new, but it's one that I've only recently come across in the past few months, and it's called Spamzilla. You'll be able to find their website at www.spamzilla.io. Now, Spamzilla is not some, well, it is a spam checker, but it does more than the name suggests. Um, so basically what you can use Spamzilla for is to find good expiring domain names. And people use these for a number of different reasons, whether they're going to build a money website on an old historic domain name, you may be looking for it for PBN purposes. Whatever your purpose is, Spamzilla is a great tool. Now, there are two packages currently available for Spamzilla. There's a free package which only allows you to review up to 25 domain names and there's a paid package which is $37 a month which allows you to access millions of expired domain names and use all of the other filters and functionality that they've got in there. So it's well worth using um, if you do look for expired domain names on a regular basis. So this is the kind of dashboard and you'll see at the moment they've got 2.8 million expiring domain names. And you can see here, you can see the domain names. Um, we'll talk through some of these other things, but you can also see date added, the price of the domain name, and when the uh, auction is going to expire. In between, it will give you the source, so where the domain name's been sold. It will also give you these majestic trust flow, citation flow, backlinks, referring domain names, topics, uh, languages, um, and then you go on to Ahrefs, where it gives you DR, UR, RD, BL, and then you've got Moz, um, DA, PA, Edge. Then you've got some Spamzilla scores themselves, redirects, part, history, drops. You've also got how many pages are still in indexed in Google. Then you've got some SEMrush scores here as well alongside the Alexa rank. So there's 2.8 million domain names. Hell of a lot to sift through to see if there's anything good there. So the first thing you can do is put in on the search bar up top here, um, SEO for example and what this will do is take this down from 2.8 million down to 4,000 just over 4,000 items and it'll give you a whole bunch of domain names that's got the word SEO in it and again you'll be able to see some metrics and stuff like that here now what I tend to do is look at the Spamzilla score first so SZ score I'm just going to click that and click it again and what it basically does is gives me a score and you'll see here that um, there's a score of 35 for the top one there. And there's various other, it goes down. The lower the score, the better the domain name is for you because the higher the score, Spamzilla are basically saying that there's more chance of that domain name having been spammed. So we'll talk about that later on in the day. Um, but basically you can see here, it's GoDaddy Auctions, Trust Flow 3, Citation Flow 11, Backlinks, referring domain names, topics, all that kind of stuff is all across there. It's got eight pages still in Google's indexed um, and it's only £12. So is that going to be valuable? It's very low metrics. It, you know, it, It's up to you what you see is valuable and what you may be using it for. Um, but you know, you, it's really up to you what, what you use as your own metrics. You know, I certainly look at trust flow, citation flow, things like that, just and, and referring domain names. I also use um, Ahrefs DR, which is a good score. Um, so I think it, everyone's got different metrics that they use to determine whether a domain name's good or not. So you can look at that. Now, there are other filters here. So on this third little tab here, and where it says filters, if I open that up, you can use a lot more filters here where you can choose different categories from Majestic, different languages, redirects, and all this other kind of stuff. There's some cool um, filters on here that will basically allow you to filter domain names down to find exactly what you want um, and get the kind of metrics that you want as well. So. You can use these filters, you can apply filter, save filter, reset filter, or load a filter that you've previously used. So that's quite cool. Um, I'm just going to go back here. You can also add your own domain names here as well. So if I wanted to look at my website, for example, um, and just analyze it, through Spamzilla. We can have my website here 
and I'll just click start and it'll run it through the tool then I click on it and it's going to give me domain age is four years old language English I've got 49 redirects topic sports and soccer I'm not sure well I do know why that is because I've done a few sports related websites in the past and um, it will give me some screenshots from the Wayback Machine of my website it will also give me the anchor text titles redirects word count Ahrefs, Scores, Majestic, and Language History. Now you can basically use these kind of functions to see if a domain name's been spammed or not. Now I have had someone do negative SEO to me before using um, GSA and putting Paul and, and spammy website and all this kind of stuff at my website. Um, you can see that on some of the anchor text there now i have had it cleaned up disavowed a lot of stuff and it's all good however spamzilla still picking it up and that's why it's flagging my website as spam i can change that to clean um on here by clicking clean but spamzilla is going to still trigger that as spam because of the the porn mention um in the anchor text so spamzilla have got their own way of determining whether a website's spammy or not so my website it's flagging up as spam there's other you know i don't think it's a bad thing to to have it flagging up um, websites as well um as spam you know gives you a better option to to look at these websites and, and you know see if there's is anything potential that's you know going to put you at risk there or whatever um now you can also export the domain names and um, to csv and to xls spreadsheets and um, you can also select other filters if you want there as well so that is the kind of basic overview um you can create your own lists in here as well so creating a list is for example i've got an example list here i've just put in pepsi knight tesco blah 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 you can make your own seo list you could make your own construction list and various other things and you can go back to it and check them all out and stuff like that as well so i'm just going to click start and it's going to give me a spamzilla score as i said before the lower score the better it is so we can just click on the website and as i say it gives me the wayback machine stuff um redirects topic all that kind of stuff and as i say just gives you a right good overview of a website redirects word count all the kind of historic data to determine whether any of these websites and you can quickly go through them very quickly nike tesco and it just gives you a good overview rather than working from spreadsheets and stuff like that you can actually get a visual overview of this and determine whether domain names are expired eh, spammy or not and obviously and obviously if you're buying domain names on a regular basis it's very easy not to check that stuff you know there are people out there that buy and sell domain names all day every day so using a tool like this can give you that visual where you can quickly write mark that as spam 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 that one's clean um and so on and then you can export that kind of data um, or do what you're going to do with it so it's a great tool if you're looking for expired domain names um there are loads of training videos on here where they'll show you how to create custom lists use the interface the filters the domain data the domain results explaining the spamzilla score and how they calculate that there's loads of good training stuff if you click on the video part up there um yeah so it's, it's a great tool it's constantly being developed and i'm sure there'll be many more functions and features added to the tool but for finding expired domain names with all these metrics it's all plugged in you don't need to have subscriptions to any of these tools then it's a great tool for finding expired domain names and one that i would highly recommend that you get if you are in that type of business so that is the spamzilla tutorial if you do have any questions feel free to shoot them up their response team uh, the response to their messages is very very quick so